bronze machine hole. Wow, that's a lot of bronze. Uh, can it be done with iron? What are you trying to make, the smelter? I'm trying to make the steam furnaces. Oh, have you made the smelter yet? I need a steam. I need two steam furnaces to make the smelter. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, well, let's see here. I need, need so two steam uh, furnaces. Brass machine hull, aluminum machine hull, basic machine casing. Uh, yeah, the basic machine casing or the iron machine hull, you can... That'll be... Yeah, that'll that'll be more effective for our. It'll use up a bunch of our iron, but it'll be more effective use of our materials, really. Uh, apparently, I can't. Okay, fine. <laughs> iron machine hull. How do I make this? It won't let me actually make that. Uh. Oh wait, it just took a while. Wait, what? Well, it's telling me I can smelt an iron machine hull into six iron ingots. <laughs> I feel like I went the wrong way here. What it ultimately is going to be is, um, what, eight iron plates around the wrench. I'm kind of jealous that you found that out. Uh, it's actually just out of my memory. I didn't have to look anything up. I'm oh. <laughs> digging through gravel at the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just that good. Iron, iron plates are on the ridge. I see that. Okay, so I've got iron. Yeah, I've got iron. Cool. Excellent. So, eight of them around, well, hmm. Um, wait. Plates. 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 Somewhere around here, I have a hammer. And yeah, the aluminum machine holes. Aluminum's, you know, we'll find that for part of Tinker's Construct and Galactic Craft, but it's also a byproduct of ores that we'll process later on. And aluminum is pretty much a, you know, can be used in place of iron in a lot of a lot of different recipes. So that's kind of a time saver later on in life for us to be able to. Use that for a bunch of stuff. So an aluminum machine hole. Okay, I might actually have to dip in. We have some aluminum over here, don't we? We do. If you want to go ahead and make that one, we can go ahead and start. Well, I'm. I need. I don't think I've got enough of anything else to make because I need to make three of these furnaces, and I've not made a single one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on. Let's see here. Uh, I'm okay. I've got the machine hole. And Hours the, later. <laughs> Uh, uh, sure. The machine hull is made. I need two more of them, so that means uh, 16 plates of something, and I have nine iron ingots. So that'll give me at least that'll give me four plates, which is not enough. Do we have any more iron? Let's go ahead and make a crafting table. Uh, not... I'll have to come back and clean up this mine a little bit. That might be something that I'll kind of do off off camera a little bit just so we're not spending this whole time doing all this make it a little bit easier for people trying to watch us hmm. masterfully masterfully take care of these things exactly I'm gonna smelt some iron <laughs> okay we're gonna come over here somewhere around here I had some iron ingots that I'm going to use there we go make some of that. I got some bunch of silver ore here I'm hoping to get down to, because uh, the sturdy grinder, once we get to that, we'll need one diamond. Yeah, go, 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 go there. Hey. Go, go, gadget, diamond. Um, unfortunately <coughs> rubber that... baby buggy bumpers, rubber <laughs> baby buggy bumpers. <laughs> unfortunately that, oh, ah, jackpot. Uh, unfortunately that doesn't double our ores, that just turns it into uh, the dust force. All right, I, I managed to break into an underground chasm and I also found us a copper ore berry which we'll be able to plant and then start uh, I going beg ahead your pardon? And... <laughs> we'll be able to plant that and then start very slowly but getting copper uh, okay. I feel like uh, something like that will just kind of since it goes very very slowly and uh, it's just the one of them that'll be kind of a way to help us passively generate some some copper mm -hmm. uh now we have i'm trying to think two maybe like three ways of generating 
stuff from nothing, in a sense. Um, or converting stuff from one thing to another, in a way. Uh, so, the, the Tinker's Construct or Berries will be able to use in order to get various resources, um, essentially for free. But again, they, they take a while to grow. Um, and I could see them that kind of being in either way, whether people think that's a very cheapy thing to be able to use or not. Again, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a little more fine with us cutting a few things just so we're not taking forever to do anything. Um, but the more... I, I don't know about you, but I'm making some serious progress over here. Oh, no no doubt. <laughs> I, have, I, have, I am on the way to doubling some iron <laughs> in order to do something that has probably already popped off of the three slots I've got in my brain right now. <laughs> Probably. Um, we also have the, what is it, growable resources? I'm trying to remember whether we had that turned on in this pack or not. So let me check, actually. Uh, Looks like it. Yeah. Um, I, I've only looked into this a little bit. Uh, that seems like it takes a little bit to try to get to the resource reads to make. But once you have them, you can pretty much just go to town on, you know, growing coal, uh, lots of other stuff. You know, pretty much anything that you want, diamonds, anything, you'll be able to just grow from these reeds, which is definitely a little bit cheaty. Mm, yeah. Um, uh, we, we may just skip that in favor of other stuff. Uh, bees is another one of the something from nothing. Um, it's just so much goes into all the bree bee breeding that, you know, that in a way is almost worth it. Um, bees. And, and some things... You know, it's nice to be able to, you know, some of these things that are just super rare, like, you know, Tongue State or which we'll find much later on in the series. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, there's a plenty of it in the end, um, but just not that much in the overworld. Uh, there's just a few things like that that would be nice to be able to just, you know, we know we have some form of renewable version mm -hmm. of that. That makes sense. Okay, there's a zombie somewhere outside that is just breathing all over the windows. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to have to set up some sort of turret or howitzer or... I'm okay with that. Something outside. You left, like, every door open. Uh, uh <laughs> Burglars. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you okay uh, over there? Yep, I found what I've been looking for for a while oh yeah man there's like oh my gosh oh my gosh <clears throat> so it doesn't look like i can double aluminum with, uh, with the iron mortar uh no yeah i don't think there's ever really much need for iron or aluminum dust and then even then we can't really smelt it without a blast furnace mm. Yeah, the uh, Tinker's Construct and adding uh, aluminum through that kind of bypasses some of the aluminum problems that Greg Tech adds. This is unfortunate. I probably should have done the math here. You, you are bringing back aluminum, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Are you using the aluminum machine holes? Uh, yep. I need three more aluminum plates, and then I can make a third basic machine Sorry. or third casing. Okay. So. I'm actually headed back your way now. Fantastic. I've got a pretty, pretty good mind set up. Uh, let me grab this piece of tin, and that 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 piece of tin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that piece of tin. <laughs> so, yeah, one of the things that I was trying to, hoping to find, which I did find, uh, is Project Red. Um, some of those kind of jewels, so that way we can make... Uh, I have six, so we can either do two pickaxes, one for each of us, which will last a long time. We'll pretty much be on the iron level of mining, um, so that way we're not burning through pickaxes like I they're gotcha. going out of style. Um, or if we wanted to use them for swords, uh, something, you know, just the various other tools, which would mm -hmm. make sense to... Oop. Let's see, I need another furnace. There we go. And okay, so okay. got all of our ores in there. Gotta toss a bunch of. We'll have to just have a catch-all. Yeah, definitely. 
thing to begin with that we can kind of sort out. I'm just going to dump everything. <laughs> I seem to have broken my hammer again. Uh, of course. Uh, well, let's see here. What what stuff have we got? What what machines have you made? You you went ahead and made the coal boiler. We've got some. Uh yeah, I've got the uh, I've got the coal boiler. I've got four fluid pipes. I've got uh, two steam furnaces. Now I can uh, get one more of them. Once I have one more steam furnace, I can make the uh, steam boiler. Nope, steam smelter. Excuse me. And then have a steam furnace left over. Oh, perfect. Uh, but I can make the I can make the smelter right now, uh, okay. if that if that would be easy. Oh yeah. So yeah, if you want to go ahead and do that. Let's see. I say that. I'm pretty sure. Uh, shoot, need some bricks. That's easy. Uh, there should be bricks. Yeah, in up my in this top inventory. Chest. Oh, that too. <laughs> yeah. But good to know. Uh, let's see. Why is this not? Shift clicking doesn't seem to want to work. <laughs> me. But yeah, it may be because of all the other things. In here. Oh, right. Okay, I'm going to need two more bronze plates, which is going to require a hammer. I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, that was me falling. Oh, okay. So you're making the smelter. I'll go ahead and knock that one off. And add Tinker's Construct, Smeltery, uh, Weapons, Armor, <laughs> Sorting, <laughs> question mark? That's a good question. Okay. All right. All right, so we've got a the boiler, some pipes, and you've got that smelter hooked up now. Is that right? Well, I don't, I don't have them hooked up, but I do have them. I've got, uh, okay. I've got the furnace, a steam furnace, steam smelter, uh, four bl bronze fluid pipes, and one small coal boiler. Excellent, excellent. Okay, um, let's maybe try to. We can. Uh, I still have to put some proper ladder in here, but maybe let's try to hook some of this up. Now we can probably clear out a better area for this, but I at least want to try to get some of these machines in place so we can kind of put them to use. Now the thing with the steam machines, uh, we won't have to worry about it with the boiler, and in fact we can probably just put the boiler in place, but the smelter has to have a block behind it open for steam to be released. Okay. So we'll have to kind of leave some space. Um, we won't worry about using the pipes yet, but if we want to just like this, you know, this dirt block that I'm clicking on here, put the boiler there. And then we can put the steam smelter maybe like directly next to it, so we don't have to use any of our pipes yet. Gotcha. And fortunately, okay. we can. We've got yeah, back we can, space here. Exactly, and we can break these things with our pick later on. It won't break them at all. Oh, so you don't um, need a so wrench. That, exactly. Oh, cool. uh, we might be able to use a wrench on them too, but for the time being, we don't have to worry about breaking anything. So we can kind of rearrange this once we decide that better. I might try to replace <laughs> some of this dirt and all that, and make things look all around better. Eh. Um. The main problem we're going to have, too, is this small coal boiler. We're going to have to start filling with water and then toss some charcoal, uh, coal, etc. in there, too. Okay. Um, uh, did you... We, we crafted that bucket before, right? Yes, I still have the bucket. All right. If you want to try to... Um, how, do we have any sand? Uh, I thought you got a lot of sand last time. Okay, I've got 30 sand in there. Tell you what, if you want to use some of that sand, smelt some glass, and do you remember how to make a buildcraft tank? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I can use any eye like the best of them, man. Exactly. <laughs> It's it's gonna be the red looking tank. <laughs> uh, right, that one. Yeah, I, I don't remember how to do that at all. <laughs> Let's, uh, but I can smelt some sand. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, if you want to smelt some of that sand into glass, and then we'll make maybe a couple of railcraft tanks down in that basement that we can keep water in. Uh, so for the time being, we'll just kind of you know bucket of water at a time, hook it up there. Um, we might look into making something like an aqueous accumulator so that way we can 
you know, we don't have to be manually running buckets of water back and forth the whole time. We can right. have something to just kind of passively generate water for us. Uh, yes. Uh, I mean, we have plenty of coal, uh, so I'd like to Do make we? some charcoal. I, uh, well, yeah, we can always use more. All right, I'm gonna just balls to the wall here. Oh well, I've got, I've got. <laughs> uh, 